Hello, hello, it's your girl Lucy V here with another booth model tutorial. I had a couple questions on how to do material swaps a little bit more in depth. I know in one of my previous videos, I showed how to swap the materials of the pan and that just required one mesh and one material. But what if you have a dress that has a ton of different meshes and a ton of materials and you want to swap them all? Well, I wanted to explain that for you so you'd have a quick breakdown on how to do that. So let's just jump right into the video. So here we are back at the original custom booth model video. And as you can see here, the dress is blue and black and we made the hair blue and black to match the dress. Let's go ahead and go to the materials here. And look, there's all of these different colors here. So. What if I want the option to switch between all of these different colors? Well, I'll show you how to do that today. So it seems overwhelming at first because it is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more in depth. However, don't worry, we'll get through it. It's simple once you know the process. So let's go to the Phantom Venus first things first and create a toggle. So we'll do toggle VRC Fury. I like to copy the same menu path so we know where we're going in the menu. And then I'm gonna do outfit color as the menu name. Same thing as before, do options, use a slider, radial, save between worlds, add action, flipbook builder, and then page one, material swap. Now we could go through and create a material swap for all of these colors here, but I think I'm gonna just stick with three because three times the amount of meshes are on here is going to be, I think, enough for the video today. So let's say the first thing is going to be the blue and black, obviously. And then we could do the green and black too. Let's see how that looks. Uh, oh, okay, let's do the red and black actually, and then the white and blue. So let's go back to the toggle. And then we need to swap all of these items here. So it's gonna take quite a while, but what I like to do first is count everything, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need to do eleven pages on this first page of the material swap. We'll do that eleven times. All right, I think that's eleven times. And since we're going to be doing three different colors, we need to have three different pages with 11 slots on it. I know it's a lot, but it'll make more sense the farther that we go along. And the more times you do this, it'll be super quick. So let's make page two. This one is going to be for the blue. Page one is always going to be for the default color that they're wearing now. And then page two will be your second color and page three will be your third color. So let's do 11 different material slots for the next color. So always, instead of adding it to page one, go down to this plus sign to make a page two. All right, I think we're on to page three now. So this is gonna be for the blue and white. So adding a plus sign here, not here. Let's do 11 different material swaps for that one. All right, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and put all of these meshes into these mesh renderer slots. So first we'll start with hoodie, drag it over there. Pendant, drag it over there. Shirt, drag it over there. Shoes, back accessories, shorts, tag, wing, belts, socks, and stocking. All right, so now we need to find all of the blue materials down here and put them over here. So it looks like this is easily organized. Some um, outfit creators don't keep it as organized as this. We're lucky that we're working with an artist who made it super organized for us. So since this is her default outfit again, we need to make sure that everything on the default color is in page one. So M blue hoodie goes in blue hoodie. 
pendant will go in the pendant, obviously. So what I like to do is just hit this little lock button up here. So this page stays here. So you don't always have to keep clicking back on the place where you program the toggle. Anyway, so let's do blue pendant. Material shirt, blue shirt, shoes. Blue shoes, X accessories, so this is X accessories, and this is called X accessories shorts, X accessories neck, X accessories tag, so we'll just put that there, X accessories wing. And then this is X bottom belts. So we'll do X bottom belts, X bottom socks, X bottom stocking. All right, perfect. So are you staying with me here? We animated the very first page of everything to be blue. So let's do the same thing with the red. So page two, now we need to do the same thing. We need to drag every single mesh that needs to change into every single mesh that needs to change here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we have all of our renderers over in page two, let's make sure we get the red texture over in page two for each material. So this is for the hoodie, let's drag it on over. Red for the pendant. Red for the shirt, red on the shoes, and red on all the X accessories. Now for X bottoms. Perfect, now we're almost done. We need to do the same exact thing for the blue and white texture. So let's do the same thing we just did, but with the new texture. All right, perfect. So let's find the blue and white and click and drag them into the right renderer slots and do the exact same thing we did before. All right, you've done it. Now you've animated the material swap to switch every part of the dress instead of just one part like the jeans before. So let's open up Gesture Manager and test to see if our work paid off. I know I mentioned it in a previous video, but make sure that you have VRC Fury installed to your VCC along with Gesture Manager, Modular Avatar, or any other plugin that you may need to your VCC. If you don't already know how to do that, feel free to reach out in the comments or watch some of my other videos. I feel like I did do a good job explaining it there. This is just sort of a part two to how to do toggles and material swaps and shows you a little bit more in depth about how to do textures. All right, let's test out our toggle and see if it works. Oh, I see. Okay. Gesture manager isn't showing up because we have this locked right here. Let's make sure to unlock that. There we go. Perfect. I like to make this bigger so we can see. Expressions, custom, Phantom Venus, and then we have outfit color. Perfect. Oh my goodness. They changed the color and everything. I love it. And then we'll keep changing it. And now I can change the color of everything depending on how I want the outfit to look that day instead of just changing the color of one thing. I hope this video was able to show you how to change the color of every single mesh on the outfit. It's a little work, but it's definitely worth it in the end. I think it turned out so cute. Let me upload it to VR chat and I'll show you how it looks in game. All right, here we are in VR chat. Let's test out the material swaps and see if they worked for every single item on her. Let's go to Expressions, Custom, Phantom Venus, Outfit Color. 
It looks like we missed a halo, but that's okay. We can easily go in and add that. And then let's do the white. Perfect. All items are changing color by programming each of them into each page of the material swap menu. Now we can change the color to any outfit that we want, depending on our mood. Perfect. <laughs> She's so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I know it's a little bit more in depth than my last video, but if you have any questions, comments, feedback, let me know in the comments or join my Discord. I'd be happy to answer any questions there. If you're having any errors or need help, I'm always here to help. So happy Amazon making. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.